What's going on everybody, so I'm back in the video and today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys back another top 10 City Tweak video. So before we get in the video, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Shamil. If you guys wanna be shouted out in the next video, all you guys have to do is just drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and comment something positive in the comment section below. So all the tweaks that I mentioned in the video will be down below in the description as well as these sources that you'll need to add to get any of these specific tweaks. If you're not really interested in a specific tweak I'm currently talking about, I've added timestamps in the description so you guys can skip ahead to the next tweak. So the first tweak we have in today's video is called Adaptive Home. And what this one allows you to do is, if we go into any specific apps, so for example, my Twitter app, you guys see the little home bar when you X out to your home page. It's blue now, so it's gonna match the icon color. So for example, if we go into settings, it should be like a kind of a gray color. Um, let's go to like YouTube, for example. You guys see it's now red. And it's just a very simple tweak that you guys can get called Adaptive Home. Next tweak I for you guys is called Battery Buddy. And this one is a battery tweak. And if you guys can see in the upper hand corner where my battery icon is, you're gonna notice that there's a little face right there. So something kind of cute if you guys want that to add to your device. Also, I do wanna mention if you're using any other battery tweaks, you are gonna have to disable that for this to work because I believe I was using Digital Battery 13 to get the percentage. So I did have to disable that to get this tweak to actually work because I was hoping it would work if it would show me the percentage as well as get this little cute icon or cute little face in the um, icon battery. So um, pretty cool tweak to get called Battery Buddy. The next tweak I have is called Digital Clock. And what this one allows you to do is if you guys can see my uh, clock application right here, you're gonna actually be able to see the actual time instead of that just normal stock clock. So it's currently six, uh, 604 p.m. right now so obviously that does change fortunately for some reason you guys see I currently have a theme on right now and the the size of it is not really the same as the other icons it's kind of like a square shape and compared to the other one which is more of like a, like a round shape instead so um, I don't know if that's just with this theme I'm not currently using if it's gonna work for other themes but um, you guys can obviously test it out but if you're not really into this tweak, you guys can obviously uninstall the tweak itself, but this one's called Digital Clock. The next tweak for you guys is called Drain. This is a must have Cydia app. So this is actually gonna be an icon on your homepage called Drain right here with the little battery icon. So we open that up. This one has now been supported on iOS 14 and just gives you a lot of detail for your battery. So you guys see right here, we can see the cycles, how much time left, our battery health, uh, mine's currently at 90% and it's gonna let you know if it's if it's great, good or bad. So if it's a little bit lower, like under like 70%, I'd probably recommend getting a new device, not a new device, but maybe getting a battery change, um, like battery temperature, voltage, free RAM. And then if we go into the statistics page right here, it gives you a little more detailed information. And then if we go to search, it's gonna obviously show you some of the tweaks you have installed in your device and showcase you if there's any issues with these tweaks, because there are tweaks on Cydia that will drain your battery, such as the one I'm currently using, which is the Fluid Widget. If you have any like video wallpaper, RGB keyboards, that will significantly drain your battery life. So um, if you guys wanna get this application, it's called Drain. The next tweak we have is called Uranium, and you guys can see right here in my settings application, um, after you install it, you're gonna have a bunch of options right here, and there are tweaks like this on Cydia, but they're just individual tweaks, so this basically puts it all into one tweak. So we're gonna be able to like to hide our dock background if we wanna hide the home bar, page dots, hide this uh, swipe to unlock text. So just a very useful tweak all into one. This one's called Uranium. Next tweak we have is called No Pass After Respring. And this one is another very useful tweak if you are using or you're installing uh, several tweaks um, every single day. So for I am, I'm making content, so I'm always installing tweaks. And it's really annoying when I have to respring my device, respring my device and then enter my passcode to go into my homepage. So after you respring your device, You'll never have to do that again after installing this tweak. It's just gonna boot up right to your home screen. No password is required. So just a very useful tweak if you're installing several tweaks on your device. The next tweak for you guys is called Power Selector. It's been updated on iOS 14. So this is gonna give you a lot more options for your power settings. So if we go into our settings right now, go into Power Selector, you guys can see we're gonna have, if we go into the Control Center, you're gonna be able to use a lot of these um, buttons and options such as like safe mode, respring, UI cache, reboot, which I'll showcase you guys in a second. And then we also have our power slider. So um, for the control center, I do want to mention you do actually have to enable it in the control center uh, section in the settings app. So 
after you do install this tweak, you're going to want to go into the settings app, control center, and then you're going to want to add the power selector to your control center. So if I open it up right now, if we, ha if we uh, open it up right here, you guys can see we have the power um, tweak right here. We can tap on it and then it's going to give us the option to like power off, reboot, LD restart, safe mode, respring in the GUI cache. And it does say in the settings right here, one of the options in the control center is if you want to do a respring, it's going to tell you just to long press the actual uh, button in the control center. And then same exact thing, we go to power slider. If we launch that or load that up, you're going to have a bunch of options as well. Just the exact same thing as the control center. So make sure you guys go check this tweak out called power selector. So I've been looking for a tweak or a keyboard tweak for a long time, allowing me to change the colors. So we finally have one called RG board. So uh, once we go into the settings application and look for the tweak right here, RG board, you're going to be um, you're gonna have the ability to get custom colors, which is awesome. So if we go into the keyboard color, you want to switch it to the custom color one. You guys can also have like the OLED black, full OLED black as well, light, dark mode, all that stuff. But um, you guys, get, like I said, you're going to be able to change it to a custom color. So um, I have this little teal blue color right now. So there it is. And um, I know my uh, keys are actually white, but you guys can actually change that to the exact same color if you would want to, or you guys can actually um, pick a custom color. So right now it's set to pink because I don't even have it enabled right now. So I would have to go to here, set to custom color, and you guys can even have the Razer Chroma RGB. But like I said earlier, um, talking about that drain tweak, these types of tweaks such as like RGB keyboards, which you just have like kind of like video wallpapers in the background, it's gonna drain your battery quite a bit. So you do wanna mention that if you don't have a really good battery health, uh, for your battery life or whatever in the settings app you may want to consider installing this tweak because um, it will drain your battery quite a bit so uh, this tweak is called rg board the next thing for you guys is called no quick action button and this one basically removes the camera and the flash button on your lock screen so if you don't even use those buttons at all this is an extremely useful one and just gives your lock screen a much more sleek look if you don't like all these little buttons on your lock screen so um if you guys want to go check that one out it's going to be down below in the description so the last tweak i want to mention is an essential tweak i reviewed it in past videos but i did want to make it in this video just for anyone who hasn't seen that it's called shuffle so if we go into my settings application right now you guys are going to be able to see we have a tweak section apps and system apps so originally when you install city tweaks from Cydia, you go into settings, you get to scroll all the way down and look for all the tweaks. And if you have a bunch of tweaks, like over like 15, 20 tweaks, it can get kind of annoying because you're just continuously scrolling down your settings uh, page. But this one basically puts it in different categories. So we have our tweaks in one page, apps, system apps right at the top too. So it's just easy access to it. So like I said, this is an essential tweak that every jailbreaker must install on their device. So this one's called Shuffle. So yeah guys, that's basically it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this one, if you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. And that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.